All right, what's going on, guys? Willis here. We're back with another Genshin Impact video. <laughs> Pretty crazy one for you guys today. But before we get into today's video, if you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you're subscribed with bell notifications turned on to get notified every time I upload a video. Still running the giveaway for the Genesis Crystals, the Primo Gems. So if you'd like a chance to win those Primo Gems, consider supporting the video with a like and obviously leave a comment on this video. It's not required to enter the giveaway. I'm literally just going to go through all my Genshin videos and my Discord and pick winners from both. Giveaway will be sort of towards the end of the month, closer to the launch of Klee, which was confirmed to be coming out on the 20th. So if you're looking to get Klee, definitely enter the giveaway for a chance to win those juicy primo gems but yeah in this video guys i'll be showing you a pretty insane farm you can do for matsusake mushrooms hopefully i didn't butcher that but essentially they are used to make uh some of the best food in the game if you're not aware and before i actually show you this i'm not actually sure if this is meant to happen but i saw it on reddit and yeah you can kind of see how this can be a bit busted so basically you need uh, Lisa to get this to work. And you need to come to this location on the map here. It's the Temple of the Wolf. And we are actually located right by here, right next to the Cryo Regis Vine. So you can sort of see where we are on the map here. We're next to the ruins. Come over here, there'll be a fire plant. And essentially all you do is left click the fire plant with Lisa and it will drop mushrooms loads of mushrooms it will also drop bird eggs and if you guys know the game and you guys cook a lot you'll know that the matsusake mushrooms uh literally are the pro I, I don't know you can get them from bushes but they're just kind of annoying to get and this is just a super quick way to do it um i'm not actually sure the developer's stance on stuff like this so if this is considered like an exploit or not i'm not entirely sure but in my opinion, it'd be pretty silly to ban people for farming mushrooms. I don't know. I would understand if it was like money or resin, but I feel like this is pretty harmless. And this is literally just farming a bunch of mushrooms. Um, but yeah, it's pretty crazy. Come to this location. I'm not entirely sure how it works, but you just left click the fire plant and it'll basically shake the bushes near it. And it'll basically keep dropping mushrooms. Um, I've done this for like 20 minutes. I'm honestly probably going to stop soon because I think this is enough in my opinion. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to leave a like. I'll leave the Reddit posts and stuff like that down in the description for the founders. Once again, you'll need Lisa. So she doesn't need to be super high level or anything. Literally, just I have a level one Lisa. You get it for free. Head to this location. And yeah, you get a bunch of bird eggs, a bunch of mushrooms, and it's just fun times. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to jump in the Discord as well. Discord.gg. Both of these guys are from my Discord. So that's where I pretty much went to ask people for help. So maybe there's some people in there farming right now. If you're looking for a group. Uh, it's extremely slow if you're by yourself. So make sure you do get a group. As I'm pretty sure every time the plant comes off cooldown, uh, a mushroom spawns. So you kind of want someone always to be clicking on the plant. But yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. This has been Willis Gaming and peace. for afternoon tea. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Huh? <laughs> 